I just want to say that before you guys watch this video, if it makes you uncomfortable talking about money, if it makes you uncomfortable talking or listening to other people talk about money and how much they make and how much they spend, and if this doesn't interest you and you're going to thumbs down the video, just don't watch it. <laughs> um, I know this is not for everyone, but I like to talk about money. I like to get figures. Um, it doesn't make me uncomfortable. It doesn't make me ashamed. Um, so I'm just putting that out there before you guys watch this video. And, you know, I don't want anybody to perceive this video as braggy or as, I don't know, in a negative way. Um, so if you guys don't like any of that, click out now. No hard feelings. Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be an update on my low buy debt free journey for 2021. I always have a hard time finding out what the actual title of this series is. Um, but if you guys are new around here, I last year for 2020, I was really tackling my, um, my finances. I decided to like, you know, there was nothing else to do in the world <laughs> other for me, at least uh, working as a nurse than just to work. And so I decided to get serious about my finances and do something about my financial situation. So last year I ended up consolidating all my credit card debt into one um, account and I was able to pay about $11,000 in credit card debt last year in 2020 in about, I don't know, I want to say in about eight months or so, eight or nine months. Um, because I didn't get serious into it like uh, towards the, until towards the beginning of the pandemic here in Texas where I live. Um, we kind of were the, you know, the first wave was kind of like in New York and then Texas turned into New York, at least the area in Texas where I live. Anyway, um, so seeing that I was very successful, thank God, at the beginning, end of 2020, I decided to tackle the other like financial aspect. And I knew that in order to do that, I was gonna have to be very careful with my spending because I can spend a lot of makeup, I mean money on makeup <laughs> and skincare and hair, and hair care. And if you guys haven't seen my, my um, makeup collection videos and my skincare collection videos, I have a ton of stuff. Um, I really don't need to buy anything. I just really need to be more conscious that I have plenty and if I want to really get serious about lowering my debt, um, then I need to stop spending it on stuff that I don't need. <laughs> so um, anyway, for 2021, I have a personal loan that I want to pay off by the end of the year. And I started my loan at, where is it? Approximately $11,316. Um, and I wasn't planning on doing an update every month on this, but because I've made such a good progress, like amazing progress, like guys, I've made a great job. <laughs> I, I just wanted to share the update now because I feel like if I wait another month or so, I'm gonna forget everything I did this month that made such a huge impact on this guy. So anyway, that's where we're going with this. So um, I have my little graph here just because it helps me look at it and it makes me more motivated. But yes, at the beginning of the year, I was up here 11,316 and I have been able to pay off all this amount and I am now at approximately $7,900. So very, very happy with those numbers. Let me get my little paper here. So I have paid approximately $3,337 off that personal loan. So I'm very, very happy. Um, and let me show you guys how I was able to do that. So in the month of January, uh, because of how we get paid, it just happened that we got paid three times. There was five Fridays in January. So I got paid on the first, I got paid like some, like the third week and then the last Friday of the month. So I got three paychecks in the month of uh, January. So it was like I ended up getting an extra check. So most of that check went through paying um, this. Um, I acted like I didn't receive that extra check and I paid it mostly towards this uh, debt that I have. And then I finally ended up <laughs> setting up my YouTube AdSense. Um, 
I had mentioned that I had set it up a long time ago, but I never activated it with the pin that they send you. So my videos used to be monetized and then I don't know what happened that they stopped getting monetized. But when I finished setting up my AdSense account, I had $2,000 like set up in the AdSense. So I mean, at what point they were being monetized, I don't know. I thought it was crazy that I had all this money just sitting around and, and honestly, I hadn't done it because I don't know how the whole tax thing works with, um, like the AdSense because you have to pay taxes on whatever you get. So with the, the $2,000 that I had there, I had like $2,030 or something like that. So I ended up, um, I got, I put 10% aside for my tithing. I do tithe out of my uh, paychecks and stuff. Any, any money that I receive, I do tithe. So I set apart 10% for that. And then I set apart another 25% of the total amount because I'm gonna end up having to pay taxes on this. And I don't know how much like percentage tax that I have to pay. So I don't know if that's gonna be enough or I know if, if, that's, if that's not gonna be enough. I don't know, but I set 25% aside in my savings account just so that I know if I have to pay, it'll come out of that. And then the rest of the money, I gave it towards this loan. So that was that, you know, the AdSense money, the extra paycheck that I got from work. And I still gave a regular payment, not not the payment, but more than the payment. So um, I had mentioned at the beginning of this um, journey that I wanted to, I was between paying this or my car loan, but because my car loan is like almost three times, the payment of my car is almost three times the amount of the payment of my loan. I figured if I can pay my loan, I can pay my loan three times over, but I can't pay my car loan three times over. You know what I mean? So I felt like, it, it was a better advantage to pay off my personal loan. Anyway, um, I ended up paying my monthly payment plus about $200 over the payment. So I gave a good chunk. I already checked for the month of February. The minimum payment is zero, but we all know that I'm going to try to keep paying it off. Um, I had mentioned in my last, in my introduction video for all this, that I wanted to maybe um, move it to a credit card uh, so I can get 0% interest for like a year or whatever with a balance transfer. But I haven't been able to do that. And I don't know if it's because I'm calling it a personal loan, but really it's a line of credit through a, my bank. So when I did the whole balance transfer thing and I entered the loan, num the, the loan number, the credit card, the like Chase, it couldn't find it. Um, so I don't know if, if they couldn't find it because it's a line of credit and not an actual loan. You know what I mean? So I don't know if, if I can balance, transfer the balance or not. I wanted to transfer the balance because I do have to pay interest on uh, the, the line of credit. Um, so this is not very accurate because I still pay, even like, even though I'm paying stuff, um, I'm still like getting charged interest on it. You know what I mean? So I hope, I hope that makes sense. So um i don't think i'm going to be able to transfer the, the the credit but you know it is what it is at least uh, i think the the interest rate is six percent so it's not that bad it's not like a credit card that's like 22 or 23 percent uh but still it sucks because you know i'm still having to i'm still like losing a little bit even though i'm paying but anyway so that's that uh so that's where i'm at with my chunk of of debt that i owe so Right now, I owe about $79.80. Um, $79 I want to say that's the exact number. Uh, I'll put a screenshot here of what I owe. Uh, but yeah, I almost uh, $3,300 in a month. That is really, really good. I'm very, very proud of that. I um, <laughs> I have been tempted to, to buy stuff I don't need. Um, so far, I've been doing really good though for skincare. I have, for 2021, I have spent zero dollars. I have not spent any money on skincare. And for makeup, I have spent a total of $4.50. I am I've decided to this year keep track of everything I buy. So makeup, I did spend $4.50 um, on two Rimmel powders. I did spend, um, I started using Ibotta and that's kind of a rebate uh, website and they did have the the Rimmel powders for a dollar seventy five back, and you could get you can redeem that twice. So the powders at Walmart they're three ninety seven minus one seventy five. Each Rimmel powder ended up coming out to two dollars and twenty two cents. So for both total, uh, it's like four forty four, but I just rounded it up to four fifty. 
I didn't really need those powders, but um, I really don't have pressed powders in my collection. I have one in a contour kit duo, and that's it. I I almost done with my powder foundation, which is not really a powder, it's a foundation. And then that other pressed powder, and that's it. All the other powders that I have are loose powders. And sometimes you just need a pressed powder, you know, to, to have. So I felt like paying $2.22 for each was a really good deal. So that's it, that's all I purchased, makeup wise. However, <laughs> I did kind of mess up uh, in other areas of my life. So you guys know that I'm a huge reader. I love to read and I did spend quite a bit of money on books. So if you guys saw my what I got for Christmas haul, I did get a gift card for Barnes & Noble for $25. So I did put in an order uh, at Barnes & Noble and I ended up paying $8.50 out of my own pocket, which is not that bad. But then I went on <laughs> to Book Outlet and I have spent um, $64 on Book Outlet so far. Um, I did have some credit from some of you guys that have joined Book Outlet through my link. So thank you very much. If you guys want to buy books from Book Outlet and you haven't set up an account or you have never used an account, you can sign up through my link. My link is always on the description box and you guys can help me out by getting money and then I can buy books without having to spend any of my money. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> I'm not one to really like advertise, sell my stuff you know, promote my links that I have, but hey, if it's gonna help me for this cause, why not? <laughs> um, so yeah, I've spent, um, the total was $74, but I had $10 credit from you people that are signing up through my account, so really it was only $64. Um, like I said, I've been using Ibotta to decrease the amount of money that I get. Um, I have been getting discounts. With my new job, I really don't have a lunch, um, we really just like take breaks here and there when we have time. Um, and, and it's not as bad as it sounds, um, but I don't really pack a lunch. Like I can't pack like leftovers to warm up at work because I'll eat in 10, 15 minutes. So what I've been doing is I've been eating a lot of yogurt, granola bars, uh, cereal bars, things like that. And Ibotta, I have found, they have, they always have like deals on yogurts, cereal bars, granolas, um, things like that like a lot of breakfast items and snacks like a little like cheese and and like almond cracker type things uh, so I, I've been using those a lot um, and I am actually saving money because I'm, I'm getting money back like sometimes those things I've never really been the type to buy those things because they tend to be a little bit expensive but with the rebates I think it's a more um, what do you call it acceptable reasonable amount of money to pay uh and then it, i have it set up with my bank account so it just um gives me my money back into my account so the only bad thing though with ibotta is that you you have to have a minimum of 20 dollars in the like ibotta bank to redeem back to your bank so i only redeem whatever i have over 20 like i always make sure that i have 20 dollars as my limit so I can like withdraw back to my bank. So if you guys have never used Ibotta, I do have, I'll have my link and Fetch Rewards as well. I have my link there. Um, and they, it's like saving money and you don't have to worry about having coupons or whatever because even if you order like online for like a Walmart pickup or an Albertsons pickup or whatever, um, you can link your accounts through Ibotta and then you get the money back. So I'm really loving saving money on that and it's been really, really easy for me. Um, I have had a few temptations <laughs> um, at Ulta. Uh, there was, um, you guys know I'm a sucker for goodie bags. I always get goodie bags. My last haul for 2020, I showed you guys a goodie bag. It had a ton of products. Um, and Ulta has had a couple of, of promotions where you get goodie bags. Things that I really want to get is the KVD or Kat Von D eyeshadow palette. It comes like in a white box. Um, those shades, I just like the formula of Kat Von D or KVD uh, Vegan Beauty products i think the quality is really nice but i have plenty of eyeshadows like i know i don't need it but the temptation is there that i want it just because it's pretty and it's on sale because right now it's like i guess they're discontinuing it uh and it's on sale and i, I have that you know fomo over that <laughs> over that eyeshadow palette um and then there's also two quads from kvd they're not on, on the ulta website but i've seen them on the kvd uh website like on instagram you know you'll say you'll see the, the little ads for for the brand and yeah 
I kind of want to get them. There's two and they're only $10. That's 50% off. Um, so yeah, those are the two things that are being, have been really, really tempting me. Uh, for February or the foreseeable future expenses that I see, my birthday is in February. So we'll see. Um, I'll try not to go too crazy over um, what to purchase. But there's something that I do want to purchase from Sephora. And it's the Christoph Robin um, scalp scrub. You guys have seen that in my empties. I love that. Um, it's kind of like an exfoliating shampoo. It's, it's a tub. It's super expensive though. It's $52. So I'm thinking I'm just going to spend um, like 500 points to get the $10 off. And then... I'm planning on getting my birthday gift and I'm planning on getting the NARS one, the one that comes with the lip balm and the, I think it's a Laguna bronzer. Um, I know I don't need it, but the other stuff doesn't really like catch my attention, you know? So I think that's what I'm gonna get. And then for Ulta, I haven't seen anything pop up from Ulta as of the filming of this video. Um, but um, Ulta always like, it's, I'm sorry, but like, you kind of like it's not equal for everyone at Ulta like I know that they've done it like in quarters like like the January February and March get a product and then the next three months they get a different product the next three months a different product and so on and usually like I always get stuck with something like from the Ulta brand where like my sister whose birthday is in July she always gets like nice makeup brand products so i'm not expecting anything too big <laughs> from ulta we'll see um there's nothing from ulta that i'm thinking like i would want to get like like the christoph robin from sephora i don't think that they sell it at, at, at ulta but um i don't know maybe i'll be in need of something i, I don't know <laughs> but that's i don't know we'll see i i, I don't know about ulta about the birthday gift so um, oh, and then also I might be getting some running shoes. If you guys watched my uh, my my haul for 2020, you guys would have heard my story about where I got scammed <laughs> buying shoes off of a link on Facebook that looked legit, but it turns out that it wasn't. Anyway, after contacting, if I hadn't talked to you guys about this, I, I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have reached out to PayPal because I'm a chicken about, you know, like getting screwed over <laughs> uh, I'll just put up with it uh, but anyway uh, you guys gave me the courage to contact PayPal and they did they refund me my they refunded me my money which is about ninety dollars um, and I am in need of running shoes so I don't know if I'm gonna get um, a pair of running shoes or if I just should suck it up and continue with the ones that I have they're still good they're not in the greatest shape but um, I would love to get new running shoes and running shoes are expensive i was trying to save money and that's how i got scammed anyway uh, but yeah and then also i think moving forward i would love to set a monthly budget i haven't really set a budget yet um i'm just kind of for january just whenever wherever i saw extra money i am um, decided to like give it but i did spend like whenever i wanted to spend monies on groceries or books or whatever i went ahead and i used it you know if i had money in the bank i i went ahead and used it uh but i would really like to set up a a um a monthly budget because i think i that can help me maximize the amount of money that i can give towards paying off my loan so we'll see i don't know if i'm gonna have an update for february if i have like a big progress like i did for this month i'll do an update if not i'll do one until march um but yeah, we'll see where we are. But uh, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys are working on your low buy debt free journey, I wish you guys the best. If you have any tips that maybe can help me, uh, please let me know down in the comments. I am all for trying everything and anything at this point. Well, almost <laughs> um, to help me pay this off faster. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.